Uh, so I got uh, home this afternoon to find the following. Uh, YouTube has deleted two of the videos about the QEG uh, for privacy violations. According to YouTube, uh, you are not allowed to use uh, pictures of people because it violates their terms uh, and conditions for privacy. Even though, of course, uh, Hope Girl, uh, the, the pictures of Hope Girl were included and uploaded by her to YouTube in order to fraudulently raise money for a fake free energy machine. But apparently, YouTube feels that uh, that is not allowed, so uh, I'm really just sick and tired of the entire thing. Uh, as you can hear, you know, we've been going back and forth about this crap for four years. By the way, these videos get 157 views. I can't believe this, this is what she's trying to censor. And again, it's obvious why she's trying to censor them because these are the videos that show her uh, defrauding little ladies. These are videos that show that she got the idea from Wits, which was another fraudulent organization. And of course, she's been spamming uh, the channel with uh, bullshit and just uh, this constant abuse. So, uh, you know what? I I I'm just sick of it. Uh, I'm sick that YouTube would take the videos down. Uh, and would, uh, you know, uh, Hope Girl has defrauded people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, with uh, essentially promising fake uh, free energy to, to, to African countries. I mean, she's, she's exploiting third, <laughs> third world countries for her personal enrichments. Uh, but criticizing that is against the terms of YouTube. Uh, so, uh, well, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I'm just sick of the entire thing. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna delete everything because I, I'm I, I'm so completely annoyed by the entire situation uh, You know, uh, you know, th this is this is YouTube, you know uh, People can use it to scam people people can use it to, to just do criminal shit uh, That's all fine, but if you criticize them uh, it's over. You can't. You can't criticize them. Anyway, there you go. There you go. I hope you're happy. And I'm gonna keep the one about OPPT because that one doesn't mention the QEG. Uh, that being said, if people are still interested in information about QEG, about the QEG and Hope Girl, notice I'm not using her real name because, of course, you know I've I've never mentioned her real name in the videos. Because I at least uh, respect that aspect of her privacy, even though her real name is out there. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna. If people are still interested in information about the QEG, I'm gonna recommend the QEG thread on Quantloose, uh, which contains all the research uh, that myself and other people were doing when the scam went public in 2014. Uh, I'm also going to recommend uh, Revolution Green. Dot com. It's uh, revolution-green.com, which has very good uh, breakdown of how the scam works and the history of the scam. I'm also going to recommend the QEG thread on metabunk.org, which has, uh, again, uh, very good research about the QEG and a discussion of how the scam works, the history of the scam. And it, it also has a breakdown of all the different Kickstarters and all the way they, all the ways they've, uh, all the money they've uh, stolen from people over the years, uh, is all available on these websites. There's probably other websites, but these are the ones that I like. So, anyways, I'm out of the game.